I'm the calculus professor and today I'll be talking about surface area. In problem number 17, we need to find the area of the surface generated when y equals 3x to the one-third for 0 is less than or equal to x is less than or equal to 8 thirds is revolved about the y-axis. Now, a key piece of this is it's revolved about the y-axis and not about the x-axis. And if we're revolving this thing about the y-axis, then I need to deal with the function involving y, not a function involving x as we currently have. So the very first thing I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to solve this thing for x, get it written as a function of y, and then we can start dealing with it. So that's what I'm going to do first, and let's just do it right down here. Um, I'm I'm going to write this so we've got y equals 3x quantity to the one-third. That's the same as y cubed is 3x, which is the same as x is equal to y cubed divided by 3. Okay, so now we've got our function written as a function of y. And now we need to use our surface area formula. Uh, but to use the surface area formula, I also need a derivative function. So I know that my function x is equal to y cubed over 3. And that means that x prime is equal to just y squared. <clears throat> and now I can go ahead and set up my surface area formula. Surface area is equal to integral from A to B. Now, I've gotta be careful here as well because this is assuming I could just plug in zero and eight thirds and that would be wrong because those are x values. What I need are y values. So I need to take zero and eight thirds plug them into the original equation and see what's going on here, where am I actually integrating to and from. So if I plug in zero for x here, I get zero. So I'm just going to mark a little zero down here to remind myself of that. And if I plugged in an eight-thirds here, I'd get eight-thirds times three is eight, and the cube root of eight is two. So actually I'm integrating y between zero and two. Okay, so uh, instead of integrating from 0 to 8 thirds, in y I'm integrating from 0 to 2. So I'll put in 0 and 2. Now the rest of the formula follows as normal. I get my 2 pi. I've got my function here, which in this case is y cubed over 3 times the square root of 1 plus the derivative, which is y squared, squared dy. Okay, and you run through this one more time, so I've got my a, my b, my two pi, my function, my square root of one plus the derivative squared dy. Everything checks out, so let's keep going. So I can rewrite this. Uh, right off the bat, I have a two pi and a three on the bottom. So I can pull out a two pi over three as a constant. Integral from zero to two of y cubed <coughs> times the square root of one plus y to the fourth dy. This is a u substitution. So I'll let u be equal to one plus y to the fourth which means that du will be 4y cubed dy. I have a y cubed dy. I need a 4y cubed dy, so I'll just put in a 4 and put in a 1 fourth outside. So I just multiplied by 1. Now I can make my substitution, and on the outside here, let's see, we could simplify a little bit, cancel a 2 and a 4 and get a 2. So on the top I have a pi, on the bottom I have a 6, so pi over 6 times integral. Now I can change my limits of integration. If y is 0, u is 1, and if y is 2, 
Uh, U is 17. On the inside, I have the square root of U, and then 4Y cubed DY is my DU. All right, now we're ready to take an antiderivative. I still have my pi over 6 on the outside. Antiderivative of square root of u is u to the 3 over 2 times 2 thirds evaluated from 1 to 17. <clears throat> All right, we're almost done. <clears throat> Let's plug things in here. If I plug in 17, I get uh, by the way, I could pull that two-thirds out if I wanted to, and if I do, the two would cancel with the six and give me a three. Now the only thing we have to do, plug in the 17, plug in the one. What do I have out front? I have a pi over nine, pi over nine. Uh, then we've got, uh, plug in the 17. When I plug in the 17, I get 17 to the three over two. Unfortunately, 17 to the three over two isn't a very nice number, so I'll just leave it looking that way. Minus, plug in the one, and I get one. And that's about as good as it gets for this answer. So we'll just leave it in this form.